Lightning takes center stage for a crucial game five in Madison Square Garden. Here comes Spock. It was a hit on Bogosian. Puck kept alive by the Rangers. Lakeford shoots. He scores! The Rangers take a one nothing lead in game five. We get you ready for a pivotal game four between the Celtics and the Warriors. They just outplayed us game three. I mean, there's no way around it. That's we're going to... You know, the best part about the playoffs is how you respond and never underestimate the heart of a champion. We have a lot of those. As well as all the action from around the diamond. Maddox swings and he hits the ball to left field and deep. Going back is Pollock. He leaps. This ball is gone. A home run. Max Muncy, a two out, three run shot. This is Sports Center All Night. And the trophy hunting Sooners track down national championship number six. Here's Jim Basquiat. Yeah, that's ahead. The PGA taking a hard line on those that play live golf. Can Shohei show the Angels the way to a win while Oklahoma swings for back-to-back -back national titles? Welcome to Sports Center All Night on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. And yes, we will take you to the diamond where the Twins turned in a rare feat. But we get off ice. Game five, Eastern Conference Finals. Rangers won the first two at home. Lightning the next two at home. First time since 91. The home team has won the first four in a conference final. Rangers having won eight straight at Madison Square Garden. Keep in mind the Lightning, two-time defending cup champs. Ten straight playoff series wins, seeking to become the first team to win three straight Stanley Cup titles since... The New York Islanders back in the early 80s. It was New York that got off to the fast start in this one. Here comes Spock. It was the hit on Bogosian. Puck kept alive by the Rangers. Lindgren shoots. He scores! Ryan Lindgren picked up a puck along the left wing boards. Moved to the circle. The Rangers take a one nothing lead in game five. That's 98-7 ESPN New York. Yeah, he just flipped it off the boards into the net unassisted. A defenseman gets the tally. Rangers get on the board in the second period. Up one nothing. Then just after a power play for them was over, it was the Bolts' turn. Along the plate of the air corners. Punched by Colt. Rooney grabs, couldn't clear. Held in Sergachev at the right point. Sergachev. Shoots, goal! Sturgeon through a screen, Pasha Sturgeon. Not identical, but similar to the Raiders' goal. A clearing attempt held in, That's and true. a shot from a defenseman goes in. One one, our score. <laughs> Another unassisted defenseman tally squares the game at a goal apiece. That's where they stood. Time winding down under two to play, third period. One point, Edmund. Right point, Sergeyev. Sergeyev shoots. Goal! Same thing. Same thing. Another goal for Sergachev. It's 2 1 Lightning with a buck 50 left in the third. As Sergachev put it towards the net, as heard on 970 WFLA, it was a redirect off Andre Palat. That your game winner with a buck 50 to go. Breaks the tie. Lightning get an empty netter and win it 3 to 1. They grab a 3 2 lead in the Eastern Conference. A final. Andre Vasilevsky, 24 saves. Ryan Lindgren, the lone goal for New York. His counterpart. Vasilevsky, Igor Shosturkin also stopped 24 pucks. Lightning now 8-2, and two, went up 3-2 in a best of seven. Keep that in mind as we move forward. The Rangers, eight-game home playoff streak snapped 1-14 and 14 in their last 15 game fives. Keep in mind, though, they did fend off five straight elimination games this postseason. Game six is Saturday. It's on ESPN at 8 Eastern. It's time for Straight Talk, brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless. Andre Pallad had the game winner. I had this with our Emily Kaplan. Andre, your team now has three game winners in this series and under two minutes left in the game, two by you. What's up with this flair for the dramatic? Uh, I'm not sure. We just just stuck with it the whole game. I thought we played good defensively, and, you know, we had a good shift, uh, two minutes left, and uh, luckily we went in. When you're playing in a game that's so...